We are resetting the room now. Welcome to the last segment of the official second annual Grace Swan Guild Book Festival. We're gathered here together. Co-founder Sean Moffat of the Grace Swan Guild. Great supporters everywhere. Platinum Swans, Denise, Gordon, Sylvia. You help us every day. New Swans, Jonathan. We pulled you in, haven't we? We've got you now. Jackie, I want to see you more often. Ralph. This is the crew. It's a good crew. <laughs> You're getting some love from Sylvia here. there. It sounds like it, yeah. I'm thankful for everyone being here. We're on a mission to make the world a better place. We do it in a few ways that are important. That Sean and I and a lot of people, as I look at this, designed. And this summarizes the whole guild. This is what we did today. Breakthroughs, there's an AI in team, casual layered analysis, relevant, future purpose, yes. The strategy of change, the spark, eco-fascism, the Leviathan, lifesavers, images in GAI, phantom ex machina, a little bit of Latin, never hurt anyone. Uncertainty, which we are certain is going to be a bestseller. And our last and 13th spot. Our lucky number, Sean, out of non triscophobic Sean Moffat. You know what? I like to consider myself worldly and scholarly. I don't know what that word is. You just said the non triscophobic Was that what I just heard? non triscodecophobic to be precise. I'm, okay. I'm, I missed it. I missed my mark, Sean. You're I was okay. <laughs> I was okay with Tesseract. I was I was okay <laughs> catching up to that. That one was interesting. Um, I have, ha I have the good graces of, uh, being afforded a half hour with, uh, this audience, both the uh, recorded and, uh, the live audience here for something a little bit different, but very related to some of the discussions we've had today. And certainly related to the last discussion we had around uncertainty and a guild that produced a book together. Um, here's my combination of, uh, of ingredients that we have here. We have a ton of passion and purpose inside this guild. Um, we have now grown from this small group of 40 people three and a half years ago, Rob, to about 10,000 people now. And so the growth has been amazing. It, it's certainly testament and an evidence to an idea that people have in terms of coming together with some level of aspiration, curiosity, uh, collaboration, and hopefully some purpose about the world. And so about two years into our existence, um, this half hour is going to be about something called Cygnus Ventures and your opportunity as a writer um, to actually participate in some of the stuff we're doing. About two years into the existence of the Guild, there was this real tension point that some of us felt on the inside of the Guild where, wow, we love this treehouse of events and content we've created, but can't there be more? Shouldn't there be more? Can't we do this for other people? Can't we actually create some sustainable value for, for maybe selfishly ourselves, but for other people. And I think at the time, probably about 75 to 80% of the people thought, yeah, you know what, this makes sense. We've got a group of people I like hanging out with. Why don't we work on ventures together? And as evidenced by Gordon's rendition of what we did with Cygnus Publishing, uh, we had 50 people come together and write a really good book. And so with that same spirit, I've got uh, just a small little presentation to make of the different ventures that are inside our guild and maybe what types of writing talents they um, go over. So this is our, I guess our second last session, Rob, you're gonna have a inside the author studio session. Um, oh, John, we're not gonna say anything. We're not gonna uh, say that's anything. That's the after party. Sorry. <laughs> you're right. You gave me the fight club uh, slogan earlier. We do not talk about after party at these events. Got it. Um, if you can keep going, Sean. <laughs> I'm going to be very brief. Uh, I'm just going to spend a minute on each one of these things. Um, I'm not too sure. It could have been Denise. I could be wrong, but somebody came up with the slogan, which we're now using as kind of a venture. Cygnus is swan in Latin, for those that don't know. Um, don't be an ostrich, be a swan. And I think when you think about some of the metaphorical um, thoughts that come to mind on that, I think it's quite appropriate. We just need to get... Uh, we need to get mid-journey to turn that white swan into a gray one here. So um, 
I love this. I don't know which stairwell this is in, but I want to go there because it's it's a great reminder in terms of, I think, what drives a lot of what we do here in the Guild, but also particularly with Cygnus Ventures. With our book publishing, we thought we could do it a better way. I'm going to share with you 12 different ventures that we've looked at. Not all of them will succeed. Not all of them will crest and break this year, but some of them will break through, much like our publishing effort did this year. These are all of them. I'm going to spend a minute on each one and tell people what we're looking for. And I've even got a, um, you know how there's IQ, intelligent quotient, and now people have come up with EQ, emotional quotient. I've come up with WQ, writer's quotient. You know, what will what will appeal to your writer's quotient as much as you possibly can? And so... I've come up with uh, a graph here of at least the top 10 list of things that I think will appeal to writers. And that is my audience here. What I learned in marketing is know your audience well. I think we're all popular with writers. So going from left to right in terms of highest rank, we have a publishing crew. We think you might want to join us on our next little effort, whether you're uh, on the ink pages or on the extended digital pages, or if you're editing in the background, we think there might be a role for you in that. We as well want to launch, you know, people have probably heard of Substack. It takes a lot of effort. Uh, Rob and myself have looked at uh, Substack. It takes a lot of effort over 52 weeks to keep a guild st uh, Substack going. We think there's a guild stack idea here. Um, we're going to talk to you about that, but essentially be having a subscribable newsletter from the guild populated by a number of our writers the GSG Book Club, this has been an idea that has surfaced time and time again, and it always ends up being, we should do this. And so maybe providing some structure around that. There are two different research efforts in the Guild, maybe not classically writing, but certainly if you're interested in insight and research, weather vanes and radar, one deals with current beyond the superficial, the other one deals with the future and what's around the corner. Those might be two different ventures that you might be interested in. The craft building event series, we've now done 60 60, I tell you, Rob, of, of these different craft building events that try to make us better professionals. We're going to have a little bit of a different tact heading into this year where some of them, yes, will still be free member events. Others will be paid slightly longer events um, that could provide some remuneration for the people that are given them. We have a visual group for those of you that are into the visual arenas uh, and trying to bring your ideas to life. We have an adventure called Gallery of Thoughts where we want to bring designers together to bring to life some of our ideas. Guild Masterclasses, we're looking at doing longer form masterclasses that go deeper on some of the things we care about. We have launched a podcast network already, but we are adding channels and flavors to them in 2024. And then finally, um, we hate speakers bureaus. Uh, people that work for them, they're probably very nice people, but we find the wrong group of people end up being on stages we love a lot of the people in the guild. And so how do we get those voices, not necessarily as keynote speakers, uh, which is kind of a wind me up doll and put them on stage and hopefully get people energized, but more substantive um, situations that they can actually get into that can, um, can help our clients and other people out. So I'm going to explore these for one minute each, and then hopefully we'll have a bit of time to, um, to talk at the end. If you see the red circle, that is a leader. We are looking for leaders in those spaces. If you see the green circle, we are looking for participants and, as we like to say in the Guild, both thinkers and doers. And so Cygnus Publishing exists. Uh, we have about 60 people that have become part of our orbit now. Uh, we want to do more publishing in 2024. We've reconciled that our next book or books will probably launch in September of 2024. If you are interested, I will let you know at the end of this presentation how to get involved and the form that this will probably happen. So that's first venture. Second venture is Guild Stack. Simple premise here. We're looking for two leaders and 24 authors. Um, for those that know Substack, uh, one of my friends actually makes close to a million dollars every year from his Substack. Um, simple, pay $5, pay $8, pay $10 a month to somebody for hopefully the most intelligent things that they write about every year. We've got 12 different categories here that are tend to be the 12 categories that we love in the guild. We think if we could rally 24 extraordinarily insightful authors around that, that we could produce something extraordinarily valuable as a guild together. So if you're interested in that, 
I'll let you know at the end of the presentation how to do that as well. Not too sure how to tackle this one. I don't have a full brief for this, but time and time again, and Rob, you can nod your head and testify to this. People go, God, this whole day around the book festival is great. Could we not do something throughout the year? And so I'm not too sure if this takes on a podcast forum of experts, if it takes on a let's work with a publisher and send us 50 copies to some of our best members and we'll have a great chat about them. Or it could be something else. I'm not too sure. But we are looking for somebody to mint and crystallize something that can turn into something of value. Three leaders and 30 different people to participate. John, just Whether uh, before you go, uh, there's a new idea. Doyle popped it in in one of the sessions, and I think that he's backed it up that we should uh, maybe do a top 10 uh, books that the guild selects and do that once a quarter. That, and that would be like the, one of these book clubs would be the special event as we just pick top 10 that we're thinking of for a reason. We could bash that out quickly. Love it. So instead of Oprah's picks, it becomes Denise's picks. Right. And it's right. Uh, right. I get it. No, and we're going to just combine this. And we don't have to write all the books, but we can say nice things about them. Well, I mean, I will say this. I mean, people love books. I think we over-index a lot amongst our mm -hmm. guild people in terms of people that read books and read quite widely. I think we could uniquely pull together something here that would provide value to both ourselves and the world. Our fourth different venture already exists. Uh, we are doing Weathervane's research and intelligence. Um, you know, it's trying to bring all of the different sites together into one place as a multidisciplinary world. We have about 350 people that have signed up to the guild as what we call global sense makers. And so they are our panel of people. We have a report coming out in January on uncertainty. And you look at the follow-up reports that will extend into 2025. And we're also looking at building a platform where all of these things can exist as kind of a forces bank. Um, and so if you like to combine your writing with research, this might be a place where you might want to participate as well. On the flip side, and it's interesting, um, we don't do much to support this already, um, but we've already got something like 500, 600 people on LinkedIn that have sparked to the notion that we want to see more about this radar collection. And so principally it's writing reports about the future, both near, mid and far. Um, we have interviewed probably 80% of the people in the world that have a leading role in biomimicry, biophilia and nature-based innovation. And so we are pulling together the last shards of that report now, due out in February. We want to do the future of multi-realities. Uh, Mercedes um, from Mexico has uh, gladly decided to lead our effort on the future of cities. And we have a few other things up our sleeves in terms of what we want to do, including a trend bank. So at the end of the year, both gray swans and trends, similar to what we've just talked about on weather vanes, we want to have one platform where everybody can go for the best of what's happening in the future from the guild that could be another place where you might want to exercise your writing as mentioned we have a craft building event series we've done 60 of them some of these will be open member events where if you we did one on hypnotism we did one on flow we did one on i, I can't remember if you have one in your mind rob that stands out lies as, lies and cheating we did one on lies and cheating i I asked for about three weeks people online about things about lies and cheating. I, I think they might have thought I had an ethical challenge that month. But um, so topics that might not normally get full, full, full reign in your mind. But uh, these are the things that we love to explore. We've been climbing the alphabet. So we're we're heading into the ends shortly, probably about four years from now. We'll probably be past Z or Z if you're Canadian. But some of these increasingly will be paid member events where the curriculum or the faculty owner will uh, will be remunerated for pulling together a panel of extremely interesting experts and educating us on what the world is. Gallery of Thoughts, I really want to spend some time and attention on this with the design and creative community. I used to be on the board of Canada's, arguably Canada's leading illustrator college. And so uh, perhaps some seed talent from there. But we have such great ideas. If I was to ask all of our writers, what is one of the biggest challenges? It's probably, how do I make them look good? How do I bring them to life visually? And so we're looking at three leaders and six um, kind of participants to make not only some of our publishing efforts bad, but Rob, we've always had this idea of making a merchandise shop for what we do here. So this can become the threadless for smart people. 
and as well for authors, future authors, just creating canvases and frameworks and things that bring to life. I know with Doyle Bueller, it comes to him natively for a lot of uh, you. It really requires a different mind to bring to life stuff visually. And so that's what this group would do. But Tom, that would We're also include uh, uh, a sub gallery of custom GPTs because it's a perfect fit. It's a modern product and uh, there's going to be a store opening in January. Uh, let's add that to the roster here. I love the idea for sure. It's a, it's a um, really modern style of canvas. So instead that's of that's my yeah, one thing. A custom GPT, all about Jonathan's next strategy: incentives to drive the economy through resilience. I love it. Um, we're gonna go to a small, smaller group of people. You only see nine people involved here, but we want to run three fifteen-plus-hour courses this year called Guild Master Classes. You've obviously seen the growth of master classes in the world at large. Um, we know we have a group of people that could go deep. I think every one of our authors that had uh, served their stuff up today could easily create a 15 hour course around the materials that they presented. We want to at least beta test three of them this year, see how they work, get uh, an appetite for learning platforms and hopefully expand from there. So if you're interested, that could be another place. Um, I know the great big whale within what we've wanted to do for the last two years is do a GSG podcast network. Uh, unbeknownst to Rob, I've had a professional voiceover person um, do intros and outros for all of the podcasts that we see listed here. By the end of 2024, our goal will be to have a network of nine different podcasts. We already have one on uncertainty. The first one out of the gate will be a news hour. Um, we'll, we have a number of things that we want to do in December on that. And then the other seven ones are things that we love within the guild that we already do. It may be just converting existing events into podcasts. On other ones, it may be setting up uh, new hosts and new participants for that. And then the last few things, Cygnus Thought Leaders, I think I mentioned earlier, kind of like a speaker's bureau, but for real clients, real practitioners, and people that want to make progress on Monday morning, not on Friday afternoon. And so those those may take on a number of different forms, but I think the vision here, and certainly I've, I've chatted with Louise, who had presented earlier today at length on this, a small select crew of people in the guild that have been vetted that can be counted on to deliver world-class wisdom in action and uh, and have a platform to portray those people. I know I've spent a number of hours with people on this one. We want to create a Rosetta Stone for the world of methods and frameworks. And so it's starting to get more niche in your writing skills, but we believe there is a platform to be built here. And uh, we've talked to one of our, our colleagues in the guild in terms of building it, um, that we can inventory the top 500 to 700 frameworks and find out why would you ever use design thinking versus blue ocean? versus agile versus something else. And so, and looking at all the different disciplines on the right-hand screen, bringing them in and making sure that we use AI to learn about how people are using these in real life. Last couple of things, uh, a lot of you are aware of, or maybe part of Cygnus Sprints. We are a group of about 75 consultants that have spun out from the guild. And we have a unique uh, given McKinsey's uh, layoffs and uh, recent announcement about partner reductions, we think we're on to something good here in terms of uh, a model that has both experience, both value, and importantly, time. Uh, we believe that we can produce solutions for clients in 13 weeks or less. And why? Because we think that's the speed of the marketplace. And as well, our consultants are really, really busy people. They don't want to be involved in scope creep and being involved in your project for two years. They want to get in, get out, and provide maximum value where we can. I think Rob Salkowitz, one of my colleagues in Cygnus Prints, uh, mentioned it best. It's like, look, my half value to a half life value of a client is probably eight weeks. So your 13 week thing is bang on for me as a consultant. Oh, and guess what? Independent consultants, turns out 91% of them are happier than working for one of the bigger traditional consultancies. So another reason to do it, there are the eight flavors of our consultant um, sprint offerings that we offer uh, below. And importantly for a person named Patrick McDonald, who is a colleague of Melton Bellums that uh, presented earlier, we're gonna be introducing something called flights. 
which will be a peer network uh, of people that learn from each other about things that keep them up at night from an executive standpoint. And last one, maybe future gazing. We had a first cohort of students age 13 to 17 years old go through in the spring a program that tried to teach them things that they don't ordinarily learn in schools, things like futures, things like sense making, things like um, broader media literacy. And so we're looking at learning from what we did there, maybe doing it in a different format and seeing who might be interested in cultivating and creating the young minds for tomorrow and not to rush in as a savior, but to do it and empower them to do it for themselves. And so that's what future gazing is all about. So all told, we're looking for 32 leaders and upwards to 300 some odd people to be involved in our Cygnus Ventures work next year. Seems like a lot, but when I consider we just did a venture called Cygnus Publishing and had 60 people involved and at least three or four leaders step up, it doesn't feel that big. And so where do you learn more about some of the stuff that's going on? Come to our General Assembly, December 19th. We're going to host them at three different times during the day. Um, declare your interest by, and if you can, Rob, I'm not too sure if there's an easy way to just put that into the chat offering for those uh, at home. Just uh, try to put the bit.ly in and you can declare a little bit of where your interest may lie. And then finally, failing that, we have a ongoing um, Cygnus Ventures Forum where we profile those 13 ventures that we just went through. And you can actually click a box saying, yeah, I'm not interested in all of that, but this one, this one here, I'm very interested in. Um, if you put it on there, you'll probably uh, get a call from myself or a Cygnus Venture leader, and hopefully we'll get you more and more immersed in what we're doing. Uh, I feel great. We just opened up this uh, form a couple of weeks ago, and we've had something like 45 people. <laughs> so, oh, wow, well, that is emphasis. That is a person that's rushing toward their... Uh, their uh, Cygnus Ventures box now. That is all I have on this, uh, Rob, but I thought as a way to put an exclamation mark on what I would characterize as a very good day, the uh, the journey continues. We would love to have your writer skills employed in a great fashion. I'm probably up against the half hour, but I could be wrong. Um, got seven minutes. If people have questions. If people have questions about anything or improvements or additions. Suggestions? So, yeah. So as usual, Sean, the, the slate looks good. The year coming looks short. Wonderful ideas. Sean, what's the one you left off this that you didn't put in this list? Of I know what you're going to, I know what you, does it start with S? It's not here, but it should be here. It does start with S. Your th or is it the Thinkubator that you just came up with? No, that one's new. That one's new. that one's gonna stick. That one just gets added to Cygnus Publishing. That's a that's just a tagline. Swan coin. Did you say Swan coin, Sean? Is that what you I said? I didn't. I didn't because I, I didn't know if it was a fully where there are ventures and then there are experiments and then there is the sandbox. I think Swan coin is in my sandbox. So tell people about Swan coin. That's a, that's a good place to put it. Swan coin uh, has a lift. Um, so what we want to do is we want to invent a uh, incentive-based idea in a, a multivariate network of people so that we could grow together and trade ideas together and work together. So it's a pretty simple coin. You earn coins by coming to by coming to events like this. You would earn coins. If you speak at them, more coins. If you are the executive producer, the most coins. If you're selling in sponsorships, well, you got money for that. That's money. If you sell one of our sponsorships, that's money. But if you uh, if you help edit a book, that's Swan Coin. So those are the incentives. Now, what can you spend Swan Coin on? So if you earn it, well, that's fun. Maybe I could just give you badges. So the person with the most Swan Coin would get a beautiful badge that Doyle designs. So you get something like that. You could earn it. So you trade your swan coin for a badge, or maybe a swan coin could be like an hour of Sean's time. Maybe your swan coin could be two days of Cygnus consulting. Maybe your swan coin could be John, Jonathan speaking 
engagement. 30 minutes, online only, don't push. It's only swan coin. But it's a training mechanism and incentives and trying to teach people about crypto and what it means inside an organization when you have an alternate economy. And by the way, I have a set floor for the real world value of a swan coin. For the economists in the room, maybe there's only one of them, um, the, the floor will be the minimum wage in the country you live in. Multiple floors. But it's just funny. You really can't connect any crypto coin to any currency because then you get regulated. This is kind of a fan coin. It's fun. And yes, it means you can use it to bet on the stock market too. Because maybe that's what we'll do with the coin is we'll have a prediction market that you can spin your coin on to show off to your friends how smart you are about the bets you make. Five to one odds, Jackie. Swan coin. What Let's do you make think? it happen. Let's make it happen. I think uh, I'm only going to tease out one other term that you'll hear about, but I won't even try to explain it. So this is a true tease, if you will. Uh, myself, Rob, and a number of people on the inside of the guild have come up with a term called platinum swans. And I'm just mm -hmm. going to leave it at that. And you'll hear more about it probably over the next three months. I don't think it, well, I'm going to say that rule right now, Sean, you cannot buy your platinum swan badge with solely swan coin. No, it's a, a merit and effortocracy. Uh, you could get your way there, maybe level up a couple, but you can't buy your way there. Good stuff. Platinum. So let, ones. I know we're getting late in the game. I'll just make my, uh, my uh, kind of um, Steve Jobs pitch to everybody that's um, listening to this video. Um, we have two different kind of paces at which we're at the guild. We have the Gray Swan Guild, which we love, which has going to have a fourth year anniversary at our next big event on March 11th, the fourth year of the pandemic that has caused us to come together. Um, so we do great events. We do great content. We do free open arena stuff over here. Cygnus Ventures over here is a group that is uh, in the business of looking at launching and hatching 13 different ventures for a variety of different value, including commercial value. So if you're you're intrigued by any of this, please um, either contact me uh, directly or um, go to the forum and declare your interest after a bit of sober second thought. I'm Sean Moffat, and I am done for my half hour. Thank you, Sean. We're ending on a great note. Uh, great to hear of the moves and changes that we're doing with the Guild connected to Cygnus and all its projects and programs. Uh, I'm going to just put up the final screen. This time I will show my screen to wrap this up. Uh, let's see if I can find this. That's our website. We have a website. It grows often. Stay tuned for that. And just to finish things, this was the Grace Swan Guild Book Festival 2023 edition. I want to thank everyone who joined us across the day. I want to thank all the authors for being geniuses and sharing their uh, work with us so carefully and openly. I really enjoyed it. And uh, we'll do it again next year. I promise you that. There will be a Grace Swan Guild, the 24 edition, in addition during the leap year. But this is why we're here. And this is really true. I thank you. And I'll just leave the last note on the end of the video with these are the people that we talk to. If you want to reach any of these authors through us uh, or find them, they're very easy to find. And I thank everyone for joining us. And that's it. It's over. It's thank good. you, Rob. Hang on. I'm just going to stop recording. Now we're to after hours work this is the after party if you come to these events live instead of watching them afterwards you get to go to the after party good night